Hey, yo, what's up, guys? Um, so you saw a bit earlier, or a couple of days, I think yesterday, I posted a status that my monitor broke. I can't really show you anymore, but basically, what happened was my monitor is an LCD, LCD panel, and LCD panels have backlight, backlight in them to, you know, brighten up your day. Lol. Anyways, so some of those LED, I'm pretty sure they're LED lights, LED backlights, some, a couple of those LED back, backlights died for some weird reason. So I've been using my secondary monitor for a while, for almost a week, and that's about to end today. All right, so I got me a new monitor. So I've, I've been using, actually, I've been streaming an ultra wide for the longest time, this entire year, pretty much. And, well, it's, I decided that today, I'm gonna go back to 16 by nine ratio. But yeah, I decided to go for an MSI Optex G32 C4, I believe. Uh, let me double check that. Uh, so many people messaging me. So this should be the G32 Optics G32 C4. Yeah, there we go. And it features. It's a curved monitor. It's a curved monitor. And uh, I don't know what the hell that means. I'm not a monitor geek. I just know two things: refresh rate and resolution and actually uh, response time so it has a 1500R curve so I don't know if you know what that means put it on in the comments but yeah and it has it has a refresh rate of up to 165 Hz it has a response time of 1 milliseconds and that's pretty much it has AMD FreeSync so if you have, have an AMD or a Radeon graphics card that's really useful but for me I have a RTX 2070 uh, so I'm stuck with VSync but yeah so let's open it up I guess um gotta get my trusty knife I don't think you can see it but I'm gonna unbox this Ooh, what an unboxing experience guys Ah, too deep. God damn. God damn. God damn. All right. So I'm gonna close my cool, cool calm for a sec here. And oh yeah. All right. I'm excited. Holy shit. All right. So a couple of uh, weird or whatever this thing is. Pretty much how to handle it, I guess. Don't hold it on the screen, hold it on the bezel, the bottom bezel, when your screen things on it, put it on the foam, not on the ground, and do not push on it. It's like common sense, I guess. Anyways, there you go. Okay, so a couple of things out of the box. Power brick. What's the other half? We come to the other, the monitor half. I guess the other ones are here. Um, a couple of screws for the stand and bed, I bet. And quick start guide. Pretty thorough quick start guide, I guess. So I don't really have auto focus, so you can't see that. Sorry, guys. And MSI Rewards Program. Join now, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for buying MSI product. Thank you. This is the first time I'm buying an MSI product, to be honest. So let's see how it goes. You know what's funny? The quick start guide is a lot thinner or shorter than the warranty card, which it comes in all languages. What the fudge? What? Yeah, it comes in not all languages, but it comes in multiple languages. Uh, it comes in divided by two, I guess. Sixty-seven divided by two. Is I fucking don't know. Uh, 
67. 60 is 30. 33.5. Languages. Well, another one. You know, whatever. Yeah, 34 languages. Comes in 34 languages for the warranty card. That's why it's so thick. No wonder. There, oh, oh, it comes with an HDMI. People, I took on that new bed. I'm gonna keep you. Hide you for later. Um. I don't know who you are, but all right, thank you. And uh, the other half of the power cord. All right, so that's that out of the box. And then, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this out. Should I put it like, all right, I guess like that. Okay, so here we go. Holy shoot! This is probably as worse as the um, my secret labs chair that I wasn't able to make a video off. But there we go. The stand that I'm not gonna be using because I have a wall a wall mount. But it's pretty sturdy. Let me open it up for you guys. Okay. So there goes the stand, pretty standard, pretty pretty sturdy, in my opinion. It's plastic on the outside, it has a metal frame on the inside. And a the foot by the base of the stand making a mess. Is right here. So it's all metal, and then you just put it on like that, and you have a stand. Stand. Amazing. Okay, I'm not going to be using that. Put it aside. I have too many stands now that I don't use. Goddamn. Goddamn, goddamn. And hear that. Is that even a word? Put it aside, throw that out. And here goes the magic. I got the magic shot. Here we go. Oh, lang hiya. Ayan na. Woohoo! Here, I don't want to break this. It's 400 bucks, bro. This is my CP right here. This is my Verizon 5 3600X. Goddamn. It's huge. It's a 32 inch. I like it. Me likey, me likey. Alright. Okay, so. I guess. I'm gonna be recording this. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna put it on my wall mount. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my wall mount and yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit.
there you have it. Basically, I'm using it right now to edit this video actually. And I tried playing, not, I didn't, no, no, I haven't tried playing it yet, with it yet. I tried, basically I went on Valorant and just did the custom game by myself and it was amazing. It's my first time, the most hurts, the most refresher I've had in the past was actually 75 and then from that to 144, it's, oops, it's amazing and um, yeah. And for 420 bucks, it's actually worth it, I think. And uh, if you're looking for a 32 inch monitor, that's like really good and is not that expensive or is within the budget, um, like reasonable budget, then this is something that I'd recommend. And I mean, it's not like my word has any meaning to it or like you know I can say I, I have any say but yeah see you guys next time cheers